Not there, first things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Luminous 4K Screen Paint using Amulite Rejection Technology Game Times 2 and 3. We're going to do a very interesting demonstration today. We're going to paint a black screen, and today we're going to be using the Eclipse uh, Cinema Black Screen Paint. And we're going to do all this with the lights hitting the screen. So we're not going to put it in a comfortable environment. We're not going to basically make it very easy for the screen to be able to produce an image in a dark environment. We're going to keep the lights on. So these are my 100 watt uh, floodlights right here and here. I got the screen all taped out. So I'm going to be painting back over. I'm going to be painting over uh, the silver clips for the black. And I'm using some masking tape. Now, I usually don't use masking tape. I like frog tape. Uh, but I don't have a choice because I'm out of frog tape. All right, so we're going to begin using my roller. Now, keep in mind, you don't have to have an expensive roller. I buy rollers from um, Dollar Tree, to tell you the truth. Everyday nat roller is all you need. That's it. Some people want to make it sound professional, like you got to have this particular roller, and it's got to be that roller. No. Any roller, as long as it's nat, will work. Put a little bit of that right there. Get on the roller. And we'll... Mine, this is plexiglass, watch this. I can paint plexiglass with this stuff. Yeah, so this stuff is designed to be rolled on anything. For those who have been asking questions, like can you roll this on plexiglass? Yeah, you can. Okay, we put some of it on the roller like so. That's it. And we're just gonna basically just go over our screen. All right. I like to do the corners. Everybody knows I like to do the edges. So when I do my screen, I like to do the edges. All right, and then we'll come over here. Do this side like so. Unfortunately, I don't color like this. But like I said, it's a very easy application. Some people think you have to be a pro. It's because, you know, you have a lot of people out there telling you that you have to do it this way, and you have to do it that way. And that's not true. It's not true, but especially when it comes to our technology, you don't have to do with that. And the thing about us is that when it comes to us doing demonstration on low entry level projectors like 720p projectors, no one can sit there and say that's not possible if you don't have our technology. Not all technology is the same. All right, we'll get some more for this. Instead of using the paint pan, that's what I use. That's my way of my own paint pan. All right. So we'll go right up the edges, as I showed you. Sorry about that, if I move the camera away from that, I do apologize. Go right up our edges, right? Put a little more on here. Notice, this is plexiglass. That's how easy it is for me to paint over plexiglass. So, you know, I'm asking questions like, can you paint over plexiglass? Yeah, sorry about that. Camera was down, I do apologize. So we're gonna go right over the edges, like so. Right there, okay. Grab a little bit more paint, we're about done. Okay, a little bit more paint, put there. All right, mix that in. And this is fantastic for those of you who are gonna be painting pre-existing projection screens. Very easy to do. Just roll over the screen and you're done. We keep in mind, the black was, when we first developed it, was designed to be a, um, it was designed to be a, um, a spray on application only. So now we have it as a roll on. Yep. There we go. That's it. And you don't have to worry about going into an up and down formation. That is not necessary. Tell you, like I said, I do things on a different level. I'm gonna have these lights on the entire time when I do the demonstration. And you see, I'm not going in any form of robot formation. I'm just rolling over the screen and that's it. I can stop and start here and I can stop and start there and I don't have to worry about uneven coats. It's something you don't have to worry about when it comes to our technology. Design that anybody can use it. And that's the way it's supposed to be, easy. You know, there we go.
So we're done. I said this is screen done. Let me come over here and find a remote control to my projector. Turn this on. There we go. Projector sits around about projector sits around somewhere between uh, 12 feet from the screen. Screen's gonna be a little dark because like I said, with these black screens they start off dark and then they lighten up. Video. Now, any, any dark spots you see on the screen, like I said, when the paint's wet. It has to be able to dry. You have to give it some time to dry. So air, as it gets, as it starts to dry, it's going to get lighter and lighter and lighter. And it starts off light right from the door. And this is doing the demonstration with two floodlights on each side of the screen. I'm not going to stick it in a comfortable environment. I'm not going to make it easy for the projector. I'm not going to make it easy for the screen. Paint the screen, hit it right from the door with, with heavy lighting. There's a lot of light in my environment. Keep in mind, without the floodlights alone, there's a ton of light in here. All right, let me go over here and let me grab me another demonstration. Caught that both demonstrations had the same music, same intro music. Now I'm gonna come back here and do another demonstration once the screen is fully dry. It'll be much brighter than this. As I said with the black screens, white levels will be a tad low, but like I said, um, not something you're going to make, basically you be to skip, you're not going to be to miss it, trust me. The white levels on this black technology are very good. Look at this. Screens are already drying. And that's the amazing thing about our technology. We can make 720p projectors look incredible. This saves people a lot of money because keep in mind they can have a screen in a fully lit environment. And on top of that, they don't have to worry about being um, subjected to a dark environment. You don't have to spend a lot of money for an expensive projector. You know, you got companies out there that are telling you that you gotta spend four and maybe maybe three thousand to four thousand, five thousand dollars for a projection screen. Then on top of that, to make matters even worse, you gotta pay even more money for an expensive projector. Here, going through my selections real quick. All right, and before my time runs out here, I am Kenneth Burr from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using the Ambient Light Rejection Technology Game Times 2 and 3. 
The screen we just painted in is our luminous Amulite Rejection. This is the Cinema, sorry, Eclipse Cinema, our jet black screen paint. And I've done this demonstration with two floodlights on each side, tons of light in the environment, just to show you how amazing this technology is that I can paint this screen in with two floodlights right next to the screen, and it looks fantastic. This eats up all this light with no problem whatsoever. And the screen is still wet. And as I always say, take the time, go do the research, see how many people are doing demonstrations on our level, and then get back with us. You gotta have a lot of confidence in your product to paint a screen in a fully lit environment while you have two floodlights hitting the screen. Look at the color that pops off that screen. Beautiful. Like I said, don't even have to be a pro. Pros are not needed when it comes to this technology. Anybody can paint this screen. Now I can turn on all the lights in the environment. Easy, very easy to do. But I think it's more of a challenge to show our customers and people we do business with that I can use this screen in a more than fully lit environment. I can have two spotlights on each side and that screen is still gonna show up. And paint it right there in front of you. Now usually when you watch some demonstrations, not to put anybody down, but they have to use ambient light controlled environments, they have to make sure everything is calibrated and adjusted just to make the image look good. This is not even a 4K projector. The projector I'm using right now is it's 1080i. It's not even 1080p. Now next demonstration, they've been asking about this quite a bit. Everybody wanted to see what it's like to have all three screens, how with the difference between all three of them. This is gonna be the next demonstration. We have the high grade silver, we have the cinema, uh, the eclipse cinema, and then we have the silver um, eclipse. So we're gonna be doing that demonstration next. So our technology right there, beautiful it is, man. It's beautiful technology, man. Grab me another video over here. I think I've done this demonstration quite a bit, but I'm gonna let this one go just for a minute. I love doing insane demonstrations like this. I love this. Let me go over here for a minute. Let me see something for a minute. Grab me another demonstration from here. Let me see. That's pretty nice. Go back. Doesn't make a difference.
difference. Any anything I put on here is gonna look incredible. Even with all this light hitting the screen, it's gonna look absolutely incredible. Let's grab something. I want to add something with some color in it. Sorry about that. I'm going to bring it all the way back. There we go. That's better.